What's up everyone? This is Zach Hample coming to you from the Bronx, Yankee Stadium, baby. The Yankees, of course, are absolutely on fire this year. That's the main story. But today, the specific story is that it's another Watch With Zach game. I'm with two families today. They're all related. Mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, cousins. Four kids total, including one named Nolan, who celebrated his birthday yesterday. So this is all for him, and it's a surprise. He doesn't know that I'm here. He's already inside the stadium with his mom on a pregame tour. It's a Friday night. It's going to be absolutely packed, but the ball's fly to this place. So lots of opportunities. Going to be a challenge. Lots of fun. Let's get to it. Watch with Zach game. Oh, I come on. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. The whole family is here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Inside Yankee Stadium, a full three hours before first pitch. That's how early this place opens on Friday nights. So it's really cool not only to see both teams take their full batting practice, but to see some of the Yankees warm up as well. I got a toss up from AJ Cole, handed that ball off to the birthday boy, and the Yankees, they're on pace to set the single season record for most home runs by a team, and that is translating into batting practice. They put on a display every day early on, so really looking forward to seeing what they can do here today. Starting things out in right field, the Yankees do have some guys in their first group that hit a lot of balls out this way. I'm keeping one eye on the batter. Aaron Hicks is up. He's a switch hitter, but batting lefty for right now. We've got Nolan situated in this corner spot. There's a shot. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 He's right next to the bullpen going for toss-ups, so I'm helping him ID the players. I can see Sonny Gray is right out there. So there's a lot of stuff that happens here. Look at this. Woo. You really got to look alive out here in right field. It's only about 359 feet to the wall, just basically straight away, slightly over toward right center. So guys go oppo, balls get pulled all over the place. So really fun spot. Kind of a frenzy out in right field during batting practice when the Yankees were hitting, as I expected. There were lots of balls all over the place, lots of fans out there, and a few people were actually being rather aggressive. Some nice catches, some fumbles. I got two baseballs out there. I'm not sure if we got a shot of the first one. It was tossed up from the bullpen kind of unexpectedly by a Yankees employee, and then I caught a home run on the fly hit by Aaron Judge. He loves to go oppo, but of course he also loves to hit 470-foot bombs to left field. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint one exact spot where to be for him. John Carlos Stanton was in right field with Aaron Judge. They were tossing balls high up into the stands. They're really friendly. They really interact with the fans well. Now when the Rays came out, we scooted over into foul territory for a bit, trying to get a toss up, but we got there just a bit too late. So no luck from them, no love there. But once they started hitting, we moved back to left field and we got some action from the bullpen. A couple of toss ups from these guys. Nolan was able to chase one down that bounced in the seats. And my videographer, Brandon, actually came up with one as well that was flipped over. So if you add it all up, as well as another baseball that one of us got from a coach in left field, I believe that's six baseballs so far. And we should still have another 10 or 20 minutes of raised BP. So hoping for some more home runs out here. No. That 
that's a wrap on batting practice for today. Six total groups of hitters, three for the Yankees and three for the Rays. And like I predicted, there was a ton of action. And also, like I predicted in my last video from Citizens Bank Park in Philly, it was much more crowded today than it was there. If you haven't seen that video, go back and take a look and you'll see why I was able to snag 12 home run balls there, but only one home run baseball today. Now, one of the grown-ups in our group, named Jeff, actually snagged one in the very last row. He was just chilling there, drinking an adult beverage, and a ball smacked off the last row, ended up in a seat. I was trying to climb over the seats like crazy, and he just picked it up like, oh, hey, look at this thing. So, you can see all the baseballs we got today. We snagged seven total as a group, and then some other random guy handed the kids a baseball, so eight baseballs. Each of the kids got two balls, and a couple of the kids and their parents actually just left the stadium. They're not staying for the game. So from this point on, it's me and Nolan and Nicole, his sister, their parents, and my videographer, Brandon. So game time is about 40 minutes away. We're just gonna wander for right now and see what's next. Well, here's an item that I've been meaning to try for quite some time at Yankee Stadium, the Grand Slam Shake. You can see right here, two absolutely ridiculous milkshakes. I hope they each have about 2,000 calories, otherwise I demand a refund. But seriously, I got the s'mores shake, which has toasted marshmallows, candy-coated pretzel, and graham cracker dust. Nolan got the pinstripe shake, with churros, cotton candy, sprinkles on the outside of the cup, caramel, we both got whipped cream. These things look amazing, right? Ready to take a big swig? It's so thick, I can't even get it. Oh yeah. This game is underway, and on the mound tonight, for the first time in his Major League career, is Yankees prospect Jonathan Wyziga. He's only the 15th player ever from Nicaragua to appear in the Major Leagues, and the first one ever for the Yankees. The dude is 5'11", weighs a buck 65, and somehow he's able to gas it up to 97 miles per hour. Now, he's walked a couple of batters already so far. We're in the third inning, but it's all zeros other than that. So this game is scoreless. We have some great seats on the third base side, and there's been some action for us already. Wilson Ramos, the Rays catcher, tossed up the ball that ended the first inning. It was coming right for me, but some other guys knocked it down. But when they saw the kids sitting with us, they flipped that ball back. So you can see Nolan and Nicole holding that up. And then I got the ball that ended the third inning tossed up by Rays first baseman Jake Bowers. Had to jump a little bit for that one. And of course, the kids have now ended up with that baseball as well. So right now, top of the fourth inning, Yankees are on top one to nothing. Didi Gregorius with a solo home run. We've still got lots of game remaining. It's a final here at Yankee Stadium, and the Yankees were all over the Rays tonight. They won this game by the score of five to nothing. The story of the game was sitting up close here on the third base side and seeing some of these star players from just 50 feet away, 100 feet away, guys like Didi Gregorius, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, and Greg Bird, players that are definitely going to carry this team into the offseason. So, guys, Nolan and Nicole, great hanging out with you. Thank you. Betty, Tobin, thanks for making this happen. And to our friends from earlier in the video that had to take off, well, it was great hanging out with you. Now guys, watching this video, if you're interested in doing a Watch With Zach game, check the description for this video. I'll throw a link there to some FAQs that explain exactly how it works. So make sure you read that before you get in touch. And I should mention that the five balls that I got today, including all the ones that I gave these guys, bring my lifetime total to 10,421. I'm out for now. Great day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Zach. And thanks Thank you, Zach. for watching. Bye.